My channel so today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look I'm so excited I was just honestly playing around and I ended up loving it so I'm like let me just film it so anyways the palette I'm going to be using to create this look is this palette right here I purchased this recently when they had a sale that um, donated to UNICEF so I thought that was such a great cause I had to buy something so I went ahead and purchased this this is the ready to wear palette in the warm color and this is what it looks like it's so beautiful i do not know why it took me so long to get this palette because seriously you guys it is bomb like it's everything you would ever need i love this so this is definitely something that i'm going to be using all the time and also i think like it's the perfect palette for traveling because it's so compact literally it has everything you need eyeshadows bronzer blush and a highlight now i didn't use the highlight in this video only because it wouldn't show up with like my full-on face <laughs> but if i'm doing like a no makeup makeup look or have a lesser coverage foundation on then this is definitely something i would use but other than that i love this whole palette i think it's perfect it has a mirror as you can see it's just oh, so compact so perfect i love this so much and for the lips i actually went with the lip cream also from jouet this is in the color carbonate and i love it like look at it, it matches my top but it's a little bit more red obviously but it's just so pretty i love their lip creams i'm a big fan like usual i'll have everything listed down below for you guys so if you want to see how to do this look then keep on watching i hope you enjoy it please give it a thumbs up it really helps out my channel subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all soon in my next video bye Alright loves, as I mentioned, we're going to be using this palette right here from Jouet Cosmetics in the color Warm. I'm going to take the shade Face, which is the lightest color on this palette, apply that onto the brow bone as highlight and also dragging it down all over the lid area just so we have an even canvas to work with. Next, I'm going to be taking this color right here, I believe it's called Sahara, and I'm going to apply that as my transition shade. So applying it onto the crease area, kind of doing windshield wiper motions, and mainly just focusing that onto the outer corner because that's where I want the most drama to be. So that's that. And then going in with the color Fireside, which is the darkest shade from this palette. Going in with a flat brush, I'm going to go ahead and create a line where I'm going to kind of do like my eye liner like the wing and then flicking it inwards to kind of create that wing look but not really making it so precise because we're gonna go ahead and blend this out later on anyways so right here I'm just kind of building up that color if that makes sense and then I'm gonna go in with a blending brush to blend it all out so it's all even there's no um, harsh lines or anything like that I'm also adding in more fireside onto the eye just so I can make it a little bit more dramatic. And yeah, just really blending it all out. I'm also taking a little bit of the Konya color, which is the darker brown, mixing that in there. And then here's my eyeliner. I'm going to go ahead and create my wing. So starting off very thinly and then as I go out, I make it thicker. And feel free to make this as dramatic as you want. Going back in with these two colors, mixing it up a little bit and making the outer corner a little bit more dramatic and sultry. So just going back and forth with those colors. With the same color, I'm also going to use that onto my lower lash line to really make the look more sultry. I'm using more of the brown for my lower lash line just so I don't look like I have a black eye. Now for falsies, I'm using these. I believe they're from Salon Perfect. They're super wispy and fluttery. I absolutely love them. The band is really thin, so it's very easy to put on and it looks very natural and I can wear this all day. And yeah, I love them so much. <laughs> and then I'm also gonna do a coat of mascara and this is the Cosmetics Tightline Mascara. I love it. The wand on this is amazing. It grabs the lashes that you don't even know exist. Like, it's good. 
Next, I'm gonna take the blush from the palette and of course apply that onto my cheeks area. And this is definitely a beautiful blush. It's definitely something you can build up, so I really like it. I think it will be great for any skin tone. Next, of course, we're doing highlight and I'm using my Makeup Forever Pro Light Fusion Highlighter and this is in the color Rose Gold. It's one of my favorites. I love it. I think it goes with any looks. It's just bomb. Love this. You have to check it out. Alright, next is my lip pencil. This one I believe is from Makeup Forever, but I forgot the name or the shade color, so I'll just have it written down below. But yeah, pretty much I'm just lining my lips. And to top it off, I'm using my lip cream from Jouer. I believe this is in the color called Cabernet. I'm not sure, but I'll have it written below. And yeah, it's just a beautiful red color. I love this. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then let it dry. And that is pretty much it, you guys. This is the finished look. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. It's something very easy to do. Great for every day this holiday season or even like, you know, holiday dinner or something like that. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all soon in my next one. Bye. Thank you.